Hello everyone, my name is Avuva and recently I came across an issue on the 64-bit Windows 10 machine. When I start specific programs, for example, Minecraft Launcher, the program appears to start for a while, like this, but then it crashes immediately. Let's try again. It starts and it crashes immediately. With no apparent reason. It doesn't tell me why. It just crashes. What about this one? It crashes too. But then, let's take a look at paint. Paint works. Now that's interesting. Why does paint work? Well, let's open up Task Manager and we can see that paint is a 64 bit program. In Task Manager, we can see that if, the, if a program is 32 bit program, it will specifically tell us it is a 32-bit program. For example, here, 32-bit program. But Paint does not tell us it's a 32-bit program, which means that it's a 64-bit program. This is important, because you see, I open up Minecraft Launcher, 32-bit program. Audacity, also 32-bit program. So we can see that 32-bit programs seem to crash with no apparent reason. They just crash. But I can open Google Chrome. I can go to YouTube. Except I am not in. I am not connected to internet. But that is irrelevant. That is irrelevant to this issue. So why 32-bit programs crash? Well, not only 32-bit programs crash, but also some 64-bit programs also crash. But only some. So, as far as I have seen, all 32-bit programs have crashed. Of course, I don't know about every program in the world, but so far, all the programs I have seen that are 32-bit have all crashed, with no apparent reason. And some 64-bit programs, but not all. So, I'm now going to show you what's the problem and how to fix it. Let me introduce you to GPU Tweak 2. Have you seen this thing? If you have seen this thing, and you are also experiencing 32-bit programs crashing, and some 64-bit programs also, and you have seen this on your computer, then most likely this is the reason why the programs crash. Let me show you a file in a location. This one. Program files Asus GPU Tweak 2 GTI OSD x86 GTI I OSD DLL Anyway, you can see the text. I may have said it wrong, it doesn't matter. You can pause the video. This file here. Also, you can see how this WordPad, this window, also crashes, even though it's a 64-bit program. So, as I said, some 64-bit programs do also crash. So, yeah, you can pause the video. This file, this location, is why. This is the issue. I was able to locate the location of the file. This one. And that is the reason why. Now, I am not sure why exactly this specific file does what it does. But I am quite sure it is a programming error of some kind. It's bad programming from the people who have made this. 
It's just bad programming most likely. Now I am guessing it may have something to do with the fact that this Twig2 is monitoring, as you can see, it's monitoring the computer's GPU temperature clock. And as you can see, our VRAM usage speed, you know, you can, it's a monitoring system. So I'm quite sure, I mean, I'm guessing, I'm not quite sure, I'm just guessing that this file has something to do with monitoring the 32-bit programs. And because this file is somehow programmed poorly, that causes the crashing. That's my guess. Now that's a strong guess. But don't take my word on it. It may be wrong. But that's a strong guess. So, I'm now going to show you how, you, how you can fix this. Close the windows like this. Then you can see how this not, does not crash anymore. It is as simple as that. Just close the windows. If this doesn't work for you, then that's unfortunate. And I'm afraid I cannot help you. But it did work in my case, which is good. Just closing the windows. This file. I can now open the programs. As you can see. <sighs> All works now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The solution is quite simple. Just close the program. The windows, I mean. Just close the windows. And I do mean close. Do not hide the windows like this. This does not help. Just minimizing. Yeah, minimize. BNN. That's finish. But anyway, minimize. Minimizing the windows does not help. You have to actually close the windows like that so that they are no mo no more open at all you can use task manager to kill the programs if you want to whatever but there's always a risk in closing programs like that so yeah that's this video this video also works as some kind of documentation of the problem not necessarily only as a tutorial so yeah, that's why I explained it for a little longer. I could have just said in the beginning that close the windows and that's it. But I wanted to document this entire thing. So that's why the video is 8, eight minutes. Yeah, that's long. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Until next video, bye.